What a ridiculous transfer window it's been. Are you facing ridiculous teams and you're stuck with ones just like this? Well, look no further. Head over to u7buy.com and get yourself some foot coins using the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 5% off your order. It'll be linked in the description. They are cheap, safe, and the most reliable. So make sure you go ahead and check them out and make your team better than ever. Okay, boys, so today we are back with a brand new video. And as you can tell by the title, we are here back with another foot champions challenge and this one is a little bit different today we are using a summer transfer team and going off this summer's transfer window don't think it's going to be a bad one so we've done this a couple of times before i believe on previous fifas and i thought just because of how big and incredible this transfer window has been we have to bring it back. So basically how this is going to work is we're going to go ahead and choose a starting 11 of transfer players that have moved this summer and then also a bench of three players. And obviously the rules are they basically have to be players that have transferred this summer. So basically the latest transfer window that is currently until the 31st of August, I believe. Like I said though, so many major and ridiculous transfers that have happened. Uh, it's, it's just genuinely, I don't even know how to process it. And obviously one brand new one that you'll definitely see in this team. So it should be a load of fun. But before we get into the rest of that, what I want you guys to do is let me know in the comments below the best transfer you think that has gone on so far. So whether you think it's the best valued, whether you think it's the best signing needed for a team, let me know in the comments below what you think is the signing of the summer. As we're on the topic of transfers, we may as well. But I think that's enough of me talking. Now it's time to go figure out this team, who we're going to use, the transfer players we're going to put into it. So let's do it. Okay, so let's make a new squad called Summer Transfers. Or Summer Transfer. Couldn't fit the S on, sadly. So just to point out before we actually pick the players, we're going to go with a formation. We're going to choose one right out the bat. And it's going to be the classic 4-3-3 flat. That is the formation we're going to be rocking. All right, let's get on to our goalkeeper choice. Okay, goalkeeper of choice is Mr. Donald Rumor. Obviously, if you didn't know, this guy transferred from AC Milan to PSG on a free. His contract was expired this summer. So PSG swiped him up and, I mean... What a signing. He got the Euros player of the tournament and one of the best goalkeepers in the world. Be interesting to see whether he starts. So obviously, Kaylo Navas is already a good keeper. Does Donnarumma get straight in ahead of him? We'll find out, but not a bad signing at all and a very, very good goalkeeper. So the right back we've gone with is Mr. Hakimi. I mean, he's a, he's a right mid slash right back. We've gone ahead and checked him. Sadly, I don't have the PSG card, so we're going to have to go for, I th think this is ones to watch, whichever one we go for. But if you didn't know, he actually already has a transfer card on FIFA. That's a big special card, which is obviously his footies. SBC Cup, which is sadly not out anymore. But yes, Hakimi actually moved from Inter Milan to PSG. I believe he was like one of the only players that actually cost something for PSG. Like there was like two players that they've actually paid fees for. I mean, obviously pretty young, a very good player. And he'll slot in at right back. Sadly, not on the greatest game of FIFA, but still... He should be all right. Let's go on to our centre-back pairing. On to our first centre-back, a future strong link to the right-back, and that is Mr. Sergio Ramos, obviously going on a free, if you didn't know, from Real Madrid to PSG. He, I believe Real Madrid didn't want to extend his contract. Uh, I mean, I don't know why. I, mean, I guess he's getting fairly old, but PSG swooped him up, and he's probably one of the best defenders of this generation, 100%. That guy is absolutely incredible. And I think he'll do bits in the PSG team. His joining centre-back partnership, though, his ex-teammate in Mr. Rafael Varane, obviously going to... Manchester United costing 36 million pounds which if you compare to other transfer fees not bad at all if you ask me on to left backs then so realistically there wasn't many options we could go with this guy was at the same team last season but on loan but now they have officially signed him that is indeed Mr. Angelino obviously going from City he was on loan from City to Leipzig went back to City and Leipzig I believe had bought him now for around about 16 million pounds like I said not that many high profile left backs have moved I mean we've got the likes of Firpo going to Leeds not many other left backs to choose from though I mean Angelino's not too bad I mean he got a team in the season last year and fits in the team well with a nice little link to Ramos so that's always good now moving on to our central midfield three. First centre mid we have got is Mr. Rodrigo de Paul going from Udinese to Atletico Madrid for £31 million. Quite a lot of money. I mean, I've never really seen the guy play. I don't know how good he is, but it will be interesting to see him in the Atletico team. Joining him, though, is one of the biggest transfers of the summer. We've got to play this guy in the midfield. Sadly, he would be a bit more further forward, but obviously we've gone with a 4-3-3 formation, but one of the best players, if not the best player in the world, some may say, Mr. 
Lionel Messi going from his boyhood club Barcelona to PSG. Sadly, not of his own choice. It's pretty sad. But obviously, it's still going to be interesting to see him somewhere else. So yes, Messi going from Barcelona to PSG on a free. Obviously, you say free, but it's going to cost still a bit in terms of wages, etc. Messi might have got paid a bit as well. But a massive, massive move in this transfer window. Definitely have to be included in this. We put him in centre mid, like I said. I wish I could put him a bit further forward, but at least... He's in the team. And on to our final central midfielder. It is indeed Mr. Genie Wijnaldum. Another free signing for PSG. PSG have just genuinely smashed out the park with the transfer window. It's been absolutely ridiculous. But yes, Wijnaldum going from Liverpool to PSG on a free. A very, very good centre mid. I have to admit, even as a United fan, him being a Liverpool player. Or I guess ex-Liverpool player. Definitely strengthening PSG's midfield and a very decent player. Now moving on to the attacking line, we're going to kick it off with the right wing. Was my signing of the summer till maybe yesterday by the time this video goes out. And that is indeed Mr. Jaden Sancho. I'm a massive, massive Sancho fan. I can't lie. Obviously going from Borussia Dortmund to Manchester United, costing a whopping £76 million. But this guy is young, he's got talent and I look forward to seeing him hopefully playing a lot more if Oli actually starts him. That would be nice, Oli, if you could do that, mate. And then obviously switching to the left flank, there's only one man we can really choose here. Let's be honest. And that is the hundred million pound man Jack Green is going obviously from Villa to Manchester City. Villa fans obviously aren't happy, so I apologise. Showing you a Greenish Villa card again. But this guy, I can't lie, I absolutely love this guy, especially after the Euros, and I think he's an incredible player. Just hurts a bit to see him in a City shirt. But the final player of this team makes up for that. So now the final piece of the starting 11. I can't believe I am actually about to say this on a video as well. I like, still not sunk in here right now. I can't lie. Cristiano Ronaldo has gone from Piemento Calcio back to Manchester United. I can't believe I just, I, I, I st I'm still in shock now. I can't lie. But it is true. Ronaldo has gone from Juventus to Manchester United. He's the final jigsaw in the piece. And I can sit here all day just repeating that, but I'm not going to because we have got a game of foot champions to play. So quickly running back through the starting 11 again then. So we've got Donald Rumor. In goal, at right back, we've got Hakimi. Right centre back is Varane. Left centre back is Ramos. Left back is an Angelino. Then we've got left centre mid is Wijnaldum. Central centre mid is Messi. Right centre mid is Paul. Then right wing is Jaden Sancho. Striker is Cristiano Ronaldo. And then left wing is Jack Grealish. Not a bad bunch of players at all. And like I said, we're going to have three subs. So let me quickly run you through them now. Three subs we've got is Lukaku, obviously going from Inter Milan to Chelsea. Then we've got Upamecano going from Leipzig to Bayern Munich. And then also Memphis Depay going from Lyon to Barcelona. Well, there we go then. Team is sorted. The summer transfer team, it is just bonkers still. Like ridiculous amount of top, top players. Like ridiculously good players. It's time now to buy the players get into a game of foot champions. So I'll see you guys when we found an opponent. All right, so we've gone ahead and found an opponent. Let's take a look at his team. Hopefully it's not too good. It's not a bad looking team at all, is it? Marquinhos is in there, Kempempe. He's got Gelson, Martins at the Diata, Verratti, Andre, Kamavinga, Bamba, Carl Henrique, Paradez, Kaylor Navas. I mean, I was all over the place explaining the team, but it's a decent one. So let's see what our summer transfer team could do. And can they do it for a new club? All right, here we go. Here we go. A wide, nice to pull. Sancho on the overlap. Sancho. Can he get a link up with his new teammate? Oh, he absolutely sends the defender. Sancho to Ronaldo. Oh, that is beautiful. What a start. That is what we need to see at the Theatre of the Dreams. And again, Ronaldo, surely. Ronaldo's through here. Can he get it back onto? Near post. <laughs> oh, 2 0 in nine minutes. Ronaldo is a cheat code. Ronaldo. Here we go, Cristiano. Cristiano for the long shot. It's three. The guy's already paused. I think it might be curtain. Yeah, it took us, what was it? A whopping 14 minutes of in-game time to make the guy quit. I think we've got to leave it there. Like, you don't want to need to, there's no need to test it anymore. We've just won. We'll take the win and run with it. Well, there we go then. I mean, we spent a lot more time building the team and talking about the team than actually using it. However, I enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. Let me know what you would have chosen as your best 11 from the summer transfer window. Like I said earlier as well, let me know in the comments below your signing of the summer. Who do you think is the best signing so far with around about, what, four days left, I believe, of the window. But yeah, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.